In differentiated product price competition, the strategic effect of a firm level advertising reinforces the direct effect if the demand for the competitor's product does not change much. Well, this statement is true, and let's take a look at why. We know that in price competition, we have these upward sloping reaction functions. So we don't want to memorize what advertising does as far as shifting the curves. We just want to think about it each time. So we never want to memorize any curve shifts. We just want to think about it. If our firm advertises, that means that our demand must have increased. And if our demand increases, that means that we're able to charge a higher price. Because remember, a supply and demand graph, if demand increases, that means it shifts outward, and that will raise the equilibrium price. So let's say A is the one firm advertising here. We know that the new Nash equilibrium price for A should be higher than the old one. And that will help us draw our shift. We know that it should shift to the left. Because again, that new Nash equilibrium price is higher than the old one. Well, now let's take a look at the direct and the strategic effects. The direct effect we know is good for us because our demand is increased, which means we're, we're making more profit now. Don't worry too much about which way the price went because sometimes when a marginal cost reduction happens, our price goes down and that's also good for our firm. You just want to think about it in plain terms. If our demand increases, that's good. If our marginal cost were to go down, that's also good for us, even though the price in both scenarios move in opposite directions. Now let's take a look at the strategic effect. Well, the strategic effect for price competition is always easy to remember because it's always the same thing. If the opponent's price has to go up, that's good for our firm. So if the opponent raises their price, that sends customers back to us, and that's good for our firm. If the opponent lowers his price, that's bad for our firm. So in this case, both the direct effect and the strategic effect are good for our firm. So we can say that the strategic effect reinforces the direct effect. And that's why this statement was true.